Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. Let's take a close look at the advanced settings of the Echometer Touch 2. Open Echometer and choose Advanced Settings from the side panel. These settings allow you to customize the behavior of Echometer. In general, the default settings are a good place to start. If you ever need to reset Echometer to its default settings, go to the side panel and click on Information. Scroll down and tap Restore Defaults. This will reset the advanced settings, zoom level, spectrogram settings, and will also deselect all bats in the auto ID selection screen. Let's go back to the advanced settings screen. What we see here now are the default settings. Audio division ratio adjusts the real-time expanded and time expanded playback modes. The choices are to slow down the original ultrasonic recording by a factor of 10 or 20 times. Nightly Sessions mode organizes triggered recording files based on noon to noon time frames. Regardless of how many recording sessions are initiated between noon and noon, they will all be grouped into the same session and will appear in the same folder when the files are transferred to your computer. If Nightly Sessions mode is turned off, triggered recordings will be grouped per recording session. Recording files with no detected bats are tagged as noise. Save Noise Files sets whether recording files with no detected bats are saved or automatically deleted. Real-Time Auto ID sets whether Echometer will run Auto ID detection on a recording as soon as the recording is stopped. If Real-Time Auto ID is disabled, it is still possible to manually tag the recording or run an Auto ID analysis at a later time. Auto ID sensitivity provides three levels of confidence in the Auto ID result. The sensitive setting will provide the most bat Auto IDs, but possibly with lower overall accuracy. The accurate setting will be more selective about species identification and may result in a fewer number of Auto IDs. Balanced is in between the two sensitivity levels. Trigger sensitivity sets the threshold at which a recording will be triggered. A setting of high will maximize trigger sensitivity and could result in more noise files where no actual bat has been detected. Lower settings will only trigger recordings based on stronger input signals. The recording trigger only responds to signals that are at or above the trigger minimum frequency which is set from the spectrogram settings panel in the live mode screen. Trigger window sets the time Echometer will continue recording after the last detected echolocation call. The range is 1 to 15 seconds. If the trigger window time is set too low, the recording may be ended before the entire bat pass has been captured. Record time is also limited to the max trigger length setting. Max trigger length determines the maximum possible length of a triggered recording regardless of the trigger window setting. The available range is 1 to 60 seconds. The last two settings are only available for the Pro version of the ultrasonic module. The standard ultrasonic module does not have adjustable gain and is fixed at 256 kHz sample rate. Gain provides three audio input level sensitivity settings for the Pro ultrasonic module. A setting of high is the most sensitive and will pick up distant or quiet bats. Medium and low are appropriate for when bats are close or loud. The waveform display in the live mode screen is useful for checking audio input levels. The last setting is sample rate. The standard ultrasonic module is fixed at a sample rate of 256 kHz, which can detect audio signals up to 128 kHz in frequency. This is sufficient for North American and European bats. A sample rate setting of 384 kHz allows the Pro ultrasonic module to detect audio signals up to 192 kHz in frequency. The higher sample rate will use more storage space for the record files as compared to the lower sample rate. Now we've looked at the advanced settings for the Echometer Touch 2. In the next video, we'll examine the GPS view and its associated functions.